Hi everyone, welcome to d history trees. <laughs> history trees. Sorry. Historic onions. I'm, we felt like talking about history today. I have ADD and I have a lot of sugar in my system right now because of cake and this oh. duck. Um. <laughs> <laughs> You're not explaining the second one. No, that's mine. No, it's not. It's mine. I already claimed it. N why do you think it was in Carlos's backpack? Because it's mine. Because I got it off the table. Damn it. Aaron, put it back. You can have it. I have enough candy. Candy. <laughs> candy. I have a pop rock ring. Pop ring. Ring pop. Pop rock <laughs> ring. But yeah, um, we decided we wanted to talk about history things today. Bismarck! 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 Place. So we're not going to talk about Bismarck. Aww. <laughs> Well, what do you like about Bismarck? I like everything about him. He's, He's a super cool badass. and handsome and strong. Yeah, uh, yeah. He's like a, a good-looking guy. <laughs> oh no. Maybe, maybe young Bismarck, but the, he gets kind of when he's older. Um. Uh. Anyways, fucking, he just does a lot of cool shit. He took a failing farm and made it super success, like one of the most successful farms in. Like in Prussia, Sam, help me out here. <laughs> it's it's been a while. You're right. Bismarck liked to read. <laughs> he did. He read. Because so he, he, he was, powered through like he was his going, school. Yeah, he was going. He was. He went to law school, and uh, he really didn't fucking study until like the very last minute. And he just crammed like reading a bunch of books, and he passed his like bar exam. And then shortly after, are you okay? <laughs> Shortly after his mom passed away, or something, and she left a farm, and he's just like, "Ah, oh, fuck! I gotta make this farm work out." So he read books and even took some classes at a local college to on, for, out of on farm. agriculture and shit, and he saved the farm from failing. And it, and it wasn't like because because he had farm workers, but he he didn't just sit back and let the workers like he got out on the field and was like helping the the laborers labor. Even though he caused problems for a lot of people. Well, yeah, but that's... I mean, he didn't ruin their he farming. He predicted World War One. He just walked into somebody's house and fired a gun into the ceiling. He was like, hey, <laughs> yeah, that's I'm how he here too. <laughs> he, he did that a lot, actually. Yeah. That's how he announced himself. <laughs> like, he didn't have smart. someone announce him. <laughs> yeah. Like, when he goes to a party, it's just... You hear a gunshot <laughs> echo through the room, and it's, it's like... Ah, like, oh, guy, shit, Bismarck's, Bismarck's here. Bismarck's <laughs> here, fuck. <laughs> Not this guy. He was actually um, not well liked by a lot of people. Because he uh, fired guns in their houses. Well, that and like <laughs> stop visiting me. I have too many holes in my ceiling. Um, <laughs> listen, I'll just visit you. <laughs> and even then, Bismarck, whatever he sees them walk into the house. Hello, like, friend. <laughs> um, he was very um, into the like the German Empire, and um, a lot of people at the time weren't. And. <laughs> Sorry. Sam's just, I'm just hyper, the, no dude. the noise. Sam's just licking his duck. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is not the ASMR. Uh, Sam, I got this. What? Then make him I can't do up. that. Um. Oh, I gotta stop. We gotta stop. He had a big ass ship named after him, which was cool in World War II. It was the biggest ship. I think it's the biggest warship ever. No. There are bigger warships. Oh yeah, well, I think it was like the biggest battleship. It was, it was the biggest ship ever at the time. It was very big. Big, 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 big boy ship. It was bigger. It was actually big bigger ship. than it was supposed to be. Like, big boy. Cause, um, you, like at the time, due to like international law, you were guys, we made it too big. <laughs> <laughs> it's too big for the ocean. International law, you were only supposed it's to have big for the ocean. The, the ships were only supposed to be so many tons, or have so much tonnage. What's is, is t tonnage okay. is just how much it weighs, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it was supposed to um, only have so much tonnage. And it was over That's probably. not a word. I also Tonnage watched. Too much work. I also watched the Ned Kelly series of extra credits. And oh I yeah. Really liked Ned Kelly. Yeah, Ned Kelly's a badass too. Cause like you just to go like, oh, Ned Kelly's that one Australian guy who like melted a bunch of metal and med made like a steel armor to reject bullets. It was like, no, he had reasons. <laughs> he had reasons because the Victorian police were like super Corrupted shitty. Fun. And he was just like, and there there were like squatters that made it hard to own a house because they kept like they would squat on government land and the government would just be like, fine, it's your land now. And they're like, okay, cool. It was like the government's like, but you have to let other people live there. So they're like, okay, um, you guys can live here. That's cool. 
and you can either sell me back my land that I squatted for, or I'm gonna make it very hard for you to live here by calling the police on you all at all the time and yeah. making you guys criminals. So Ned Kelly was like, okay, I've had enough of this, and I'm gonna cause some fucking trouble. Well, because at the time, because it was, um, he, he was, uh, he was pretty much on the straight and narrow, but at, at like, his family was, I think, I think his family was starving, and he yeah. stole, like, Because the cattle. squatter lady yeah. made it, like, difficult on him. And, and the, because of the guy who owned the land... Uh, trying to get the Kelly clan fucking arrested. Yeah. The police didn't he hated trust the him. Kelly clan. Yeah, the police didn't trust him at all. Because I think his father was also like a, a cattle rustler or something. So I don't think I don't think they his, call him cattle his, rustlers in Australia. No, they're that's what a bushman is. I think. Yeah, a bushman. That's what it was. Um, but he, his father is from I was from Ireland and he committed a crime in, in Ireland and so they're like ship him to Australia as like punishment. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, because at this time Australia was still the fucking. And then colony. his father was on the straight and narrow just trying to provide for his family and then he cattle rustled like once god you made me say it he did he stole a cow he the like one once. time and he got caught doing it and he got arrested is it bushwhacking <laughs> no no it's a different thing that's a different thing <laughs> it's when you go in the bushes and then you, you whack oh <laughs> that's what it is yeah. really yeah. Bushwhacking. but most most of the time huh. whenever Ned Kelly would fight different <laughs> Whenever he would fight the police, uh, it, he, people were always like, that sounds a lot like self-defense. Wait, so then why is there a fucking magic card that has bushwhacker? Because <laughs> magic makes jokes. <laughs> <laughs> um, he was actually pretty well loved by the people. Bushwhacker. Yeah. Well, one of the things he would do is when he would bust into a bank in town, he would take some people's debts and burn them up so oh, they yeah, couldn't be would, in debt yeah. anymore. He would burn all the debt records, that's funny, yeah. They can do that? <laughs> like, they, they can do Not that? Anymore. Not oh, anymore. Not anymore. Oh, it's digital. Yeah, and it's all centralized and like... Burn the computers. No, yeah. no, it's online. Burn the clouds. Fire. I hear fire. That's how we wrong get rid cloud. of our ozone layer. Oh, wrong cloud. <laughs> yeah, wrong. I, I just had an idea, because we're doing tier lists. So. Um, historical figure tier lists. There's a lot of so historical many. figures. We can though. specify in the time, though. Yeah. Like what time period? In which region? Adolf Hitler. F tier. Oh. <laughs> Not Alexander, even on the list. Fuck him. Alexander the Great. A tier, because he dies. Because he's got A in his name. <laughs> That's a lot of reasons why he shouldn't be A tier. <laughs> I'm not going to do it right now. No, we're yeah, not. If anything, we'll put it on the list. Yeah. Stalin? Anybody? Sorry, Stalin. S tier? F tier. <laughs> You can't, you can't. You can't use. You can't keep one. using their first name. It begins with a letter. <laughs> established communism. Hello. Hitler Hitler Douglas. Oh, wait, relatives that are still Kill, alive. Today. He killed a lot of people. <laughs> Who? Hitler has distant relatives that are still alive. Today. They signed a pact to die without making children. Yep. Because they want to finally end this. And they're gonna. They're gonna. Oh wow! I didn't know that. That's hard. Yeah. It's uh, uh, There's a lot of people uh, that, that believe. Um, um, there's a lot of people that believe, and also there's a lot of evidence to suggest that Hitler fled to South America. Yeah, because there's no evidence that his body was... Well, no, the body that the Russians provided was of a 35-year-old woman. He, Hitler was a woman? <laughs> <laughs> Hitler was trans, oh fuck! Oh, oh no. And to prove that Sorry. the cyanide pills actually work, they fed it to his Oh no. <laughs> I go and look at... I know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to put more work on you, but... It's not you who's putting the work on. <laughs> <laughs> Stop trying your duck. It's not me. That's it's not you that's putting the work on me. It's Charles. I like your wallpaper. Thank you. You know who else would like your wallpaper? Yeah. Another historical figure. Just kidding. <laughs> um, we're not really doing segues. Right we're just left. talking about history because I really do like history. Yeah, we were we were talking about history during lunch and we like let's talk about history. Okay. I think Brett and I decided last night that we're like. No, we like um, we like military history, but we like really old military history. Yeah, like he was telling me about like uh, Genghis Khan's shit. Mm. That stuff is really fucking cool. Well, what, about about it. <clears throat> what about the history like of the tales? Like, and I was just reading this Ragnarok. It's, oh, mythology. That's mythology, yeah. Aaron. That's, that's mythology. different. It is different. You, you squandered it. No, I'm kidding. Oh no, he's <laughs> turning sand. You soiled it. Tell us about Genghis Khan. I'm hyper. All right. Okay, well, tell us about that. I like the way that you're holding that. <laughs> Sit like, I don't know why, me with it. but that, that reminds me of you. I'll Leon. duck um, you. <laughs> wait, so Genghis Khan had, like, a very shitty childhood. Mm-hmm. Like, 
I can't, I don't remember, like, the incredible specifics of it, but I know his, when his dad died, his family was left with nothing, and he uh -huh. had two older half-brothers, I think it was two, and he and I think his other younger half-brother decided to both kill the oldest brother, because he was just a general asshole, and, like, uh, Genghis Khan yeah, wanted to be the head of the family. <laughs> um, it's hard when I'm standing. Uh, I just remember that uh, uh, there was a show on like, um, like ABC Family, or no, it was. <sighs> <There's> just <laughs> a <laughs> show on Primary ABC Family knowledge. about Genghis Khan. You know. No, that's it. <laughs> so it was like a cartoon show, and these Genghis kids children. would go would would. would that, it was they, they might have had like a magic book or something that they read to like go back in time. It was on PBS. It was on PBS. Was it okay. Called? It was, it was an animated. I don't remember, but it was an animated show where these kids would go back through time like and history. Kids? Oh yeah, yeah the, the magic treehouse or something like that, right? I have no clue. No, it wasn't. Wait. No. You said three kids. Was it three boys? Was there, was all, there was there was there, there no, was definitely I think a girl. it was there was th there was a team of three boys and there was also a team of three girls and they like matched up. I know that. And I know those three boys are from our present time and those three girls are their descendants. Oh. Yes, that sounds right. And like, because that's the one I was thinking of when I said three boys. I don't know what it's called though. I, I love don't. that show. I think I knew the books better. Mm -hmm. There was books. Yeah, I didn't Wait, know there was books. No, because mm -hmm. the one I'm thinking of. No, I'm thinking of a different show. A different show that involves the American Revolution and like these kids that yes. Liberty Kids. Yeah. Liberty oh, Kids. Yeah. Oh, fuck. That is the hype Isn't that's opening. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I remember that's that's that what I was thinking. I, I, of. I have very vague memories no. of that show from when I was. Like, Anyways, eight. you threw me off topic of Genghis Khan, and we're not leaving him. Well, no, because they. I, I, I need to I, check I, if, the, if the station that I mentioned is only in this fucking oh, city. Oh, PBS is no, no, I watched it when. Okay. Yeah. No. It, yeah. No. PBS is nationwide. Okay. No. Um, but Genghis Khan. No. It's the, it's the, it's the public broadcast. No. Uh, it's, he's it's the king. The, the local is would be the the, the, the four the, letter word. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you can beep, beep that. Yeah, yeah, you can beep that one out. Um, That's why I didn't say that. Like channel four and five. Yeah. I'll talk about that after I'm done with Genghis Khan because I know an interesting thing about uh, the that. The reason I brought it up was because my favorite episode is the one where they go back in time and help Genghis Khan. Right. Um, but Genghis Khan. <laughs> <laughs> my brother's just like Genghis. People. Genghis. <laughs> Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan. Yeah, it's it's either Genghis or Genghis. Um, but. <laughs> <laughs> what? Big Genghis. Genghis. Big, big Genghis. Big Genghis. People think he's big like Genghis. a bloodthirsty, no, yeah. like destructive barbarian type, and he's not. He actually did a lot of cool shit for his people. <laughs> well, Swords. Cool ta uh, tactics too. It takes a lot of time. Because I told Brett, I was like, the worst thing, like the most barbarian thing he did was when he was fighting the Golden Horde, who was like in the area. I believe they were Turkish. Yeah, I think they're in the area between Turkey and Russia. Yeah, something like that. Um, there, yeah, there was like a lot of, like he had a reasonable sized army that he like just absorbed into his army. But the Golden Horde was like massive. Like I think they were reaching millions. And he's like, oh, okay, so anyways, here's a giant wagon wheel. And if anyone's taller than it, I have to kill you for resource purposes. It's a good thing I'm short. Yeah. Well, you're also a woman now, and you killed like it was mainly men in fighting age. Oh. So the elderly, the young, and women could like be unharmed. Um, yeah, Genghis was like he was he was pretty brutal to his enemies, but like he was also like really honorable in his way. He was telling me about um, how like if you surrendered during a raid, Genghis Khan would like leave you alone. Yeah, like, you were like you were you were guaranteed. Well, he would ask you to participate on the raid for his side. Yeah. And like, oh, yeah. I think, yeah, that's pretty fair. What he would that's, do, how he, that's how he grew his, his, his what, tribe. What, Mon what Mongols would do is when they would raid a neighboring settlement, they would just take shit as they were raiding, so it allowed other people to leave. And Genghis Khan's like, no. Some people will chase the enemy. Other people will stay behind and grab all the loot and then come back and put it in this giant pile. We're gonna keep this giant pile here until we're done with the campaign. Then when we're done with the campaign, I will divide it amongst everyone and you're all gonna get way more than you would get in a normal ass raid. 
It's actually a really smart tactic for a leader to do that with and because, his people. Because his family had nothing after his dad died, it was like, if you're a widow and you have like children and your husband died in our raid and you're integrated into our like Mongol Society. stuff, um, you get part of the... That's one of the first pension plans. Yeah, you get, <laughs> you get part of the treasure Sorry. we collected so that you're not left with nothing. So you're not absolutely not poor. So you don't run into the forest. But if you squander that, you're on your own. <laughs> yeah. You don't, so you don't run into the forest and live off of like rats and shit like I had to. I think it's just like a bunch of misinformation and like well, de- yeah, and demonizing. Because he destroyed a lot of societies and those. We in didn't the destroy them. He absorbed them. Well, no. Like there was there were some there were some that he just destroyed. Well, that's the thing with like a society that'll absorb other societies. They're the original society gets lost in the mass amount of like shit that, that's why people wanted to revolt against Rome because Rome was like yeah you can be Romans um, <laughs> yeah, you can but be Roman. eventually you're going to just be Romans you're not going to be what you used to yeah. be and plus there's so many cultures that's just mashing together that it becomes its own individual culture that derives from those yeah. for example America, America. <laughs> yeah the melting. That actually reminds me. I was talking to my dad. Um, well, so my my dad. My dad. My, my dad. He's re- he's been really into country music lately, and it's kind of gotten me into country music, and I hate it. Um, oh boy. But you know that song it's, goes like a little bit of country fry, a little bit of a cold beer on a Friday night. Cold beer. A pair of jeans that fits just right. Yes. Um, aside from the jeans, all the stuff he lists in that song aren't uniquely American. But it's the combination of all those things in America, America at the same time. That's the entire that, that point is, of country music, to be universally relatable. Well, no, what? what? Yeah. Well, no, no, I, I get that. I'm just saying, like, that, like, I know, the, song, that's, the whole song is about how... No, I'm, I'm agreeing with you. Okay. He's trying to make it seem like, hey, all of this stuff that might not be American yeah. is what makes America. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I got confused for a second, I guess. Like... I know th- I know that song you're talking about, and he's just saying whatever relaxes you is like your piece of America yeah. Yeah. on that's, Friday night. That's like some of the good country music. The blue the blue jeans is pretty unique. I, 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 that was invented in America. Uh, during one car ride with my mom, because my mom listens to country music and I had to deal with that shit for a long last time. But uh, in, in a car ride with my mom recently, uh, there was a song on the radio, and, and I made the revelation that like. Almost all, like, the, the country music industry is very fucking misogynistic. Yeah. Are you talking about that one song that you hate when we go to Wendy's? She thinks my tractor's sexy. That was I've heard that song. Right. Was a fucking it, tractor. it was a different one. It was one, uh, it was like, you know, um, I'll be strong and I'll, uh, or some, sh- I'm, I'm probably describing like a hundred well, okay, country so songs, but it was something like, I'll be strong and don't worry, I'll still fuck you. Oh. Oh, what? Yeah. Okay, that's, like... I'll go into your I do. Jeans I hate. I hate this, this idea because there, there's a very prevalent idea currently that. What did I do? <laughs> I Usually, know. whenever you do something dramatic like that, you have something. I to didn't say. even know I did it dramatically. You, well, you did. Um, that like, the certain things that that um, like, make a man a man. Because there, there are there like. Regardless of what you think, there are certain things that make a man... No, no, like, you're, you're confused, because the song that plays at Wendy's that one time, I said, is an example of toxic masculinity, uh, not absolutely. misogyny. And, and There's honestly, both. There's and both. As much as I hate the term toxic masculinity, because it's it's overused and, and is often used to describe shit that's... It's, it's used incorrectly. Um, so, like, that's, that's why I don't like that term. But it's absolutely but, a real thing. But, yeah, I would, I would just prefer to call it something else. I don't know what else I would call it, but anyways. You just call it toxicity. Um, so, toxic behavior. Like, there are certain <laughs> things that, that make a man, I mean, I'm not saying like woman, women can't also have these You're traits. treading on very... I know, shut up, let me finish. I'm, I'm making a not terrible point. As long as you don't just jump and go... There's things that make a man a man, and one of them's a penis. Like, as long as you don't do <laughs> yeah, that, no, I know you're not, not talking that. about. No, but like. Like, characteristics. Um, yeah. Manly characteristics. You're going, you're going the warrior male route where you're like. I'm trying to. Yeah, you're <laughs> trying to. Yeah. Fighting is manly, and women can also fight. Yeah. yeah. And, and experience that manliness. Like, 
Um, You're using manliness like as an esoteric idea. Like conviction in your anyone. personal yeah. values, fucking. And it's okay, so like I, w- I saw this article the other day. As I, was I like how we transition from history into like yeah, gender it. roles. Modern history. <laughs> Modern I history. Saw, yeah. I saw this what? thing. It was it was it was a uh, it was an article. Seven manly this skills. This episode is very woke. Uh, <laughs> seven manly skills and like what you should replace them with. Because like they're supposedly obsolete skills and. And he was talking about how like like car repair is obsolete, so you should learn coding. And the no. fuck no. And um okay. like you shouldn't learn how to fight. You should learn how to okay. mediate. First of all, you should have both sets of skills. Yeah, because mediation doesn't always work. Yeah, diplomacy is fun. Um, and also fighting can be fun. Like just like if you. And that's why people you, play fighting yeah. games. And all, that's why people box. That's why that's why, that's why competitive is, things exist. One of my favorite things. I don't know what the, like the the first thing the guy says, but he says, and if anyone disagrees with me, you can fight me. And the other guy's like, what if I just want to fight? And he's just like, very well. And he's taking off his shirt and everything. <laughs> fighting is the most purest form of combat. So, or it's like combat is the most purest pure form, form of, of discussion. Of expression. <laughs> and you're willing, I, I will, I will meet you with that. And I was like, all right, that's fair. Yeah, that's yeah. fair. Yeah. I love shit like that. Because fighting like, can just be a sport. Yeah. Like, to, like, you don't have to. It's, it's one of my favorite lines of dialogue. It's like, show me the way you feel with your fists. What? Where is that from? I think it's from G Gundam. <laughs> That's really they good. They say a similar thing in Naruto, because in the uh, in Naruto Ninja Storm Four, you can play Boruto story, mm. and one of the last fights you do is you fight Naruto, and it transitions between Kid Naruto to Shippuden Naruto to Hokage Naruto, and um, Naruto's whole thing is I always wanted to like kind of spar with my son so he can understand my history through my fists and I can understand what he's been going through through his. I love that he concept. says sometimes the best way to talk to somebody is like through exchanging yeah. hands. It's like the the one episode where Bakugo and Deku fight. Like that's the only way that they can really they're, understand they're each fight, other. They fight a lot. Well, I mean, it, after like they're they're set on what campus and like they have to live in dorms. What was that fucking they go nerdy to the practice area. said there earlier? The Harry Potter thing. <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, anyways, that's not important. Um, I was only bringing it up because I just said, you fucking nerds. <laughs> um, but, uh, oh my god, I had a point. And it's it's leaving me. I gotta... I gotta... Masculinity, fighting. No, no, no. It, it, it had Characteristics. Fighting. Things that make a man a man. Um, no, then you talked, oh, you shouldn't learn this, you should learn this. Yeah, no, no, no. It, this was a point related to what you guys were... What were you guys saying just now? Speaking through your fists. Yeah, Showing emotions can learn through your fists. Each other struggle Naruto through Naruto and... and it was right before you brought up Bakugo and I called you guys nerds. I shouldn't have said that because that's what made me lose my thought. <laughs> he was talking about so. Naruto. Uh, Anyways, the Scarlet. Scarlet. Yeah, Sandra, Sandra ends up fighting each of her teammates before like the team is before like, they fuck no. <laughs> together. No, they're not underage. this one. Before they're it's like fun if they're fucking each teams. Other. <laughs> before they like feel like an actual team, and Sandra just like. She's like, no, I enjoyed fighting each and every one of you because I got to. F- oh, okay. Because you can't hide yourself when you fight. I love that. You can't I love hide that trope. your actual personality. There is a. Um, I don't know if it was. A, I think. I think it was a short story um, about these two dudes that are from like kind of a shitty neighborhood in New York, and they're both boxers, and they they like they, they're both trying to get. I, th- I think they were trying to go Golden Gloves, and. Um, they bo- they wind up having to fight each other, and they wind up knocking each other out. <laughs> um, well, because like they don't want to hurt each other because so they want to fucking get it over with as quick as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they want to do like a, as quick of a knockout as they can. But they're both like they they're different because they have so much respect for one another. Yeah, and well, like because they're best friends, <clears throat> and it's a really heartwarming bromance, and I love that short story. Um, one of my favorite things that's like in the Smash community I don't, I don't, as a whole. I don't know if it ended with them knocking each other out or if it ended like on a cliffhanger. I can't remember. One of my favorite things about the Smash community as a whole is like, there's a thing that's saying like, whatever character you play and whatever playstyle you have reflects you as a person. Yeah, and I'd buy that. It's, it's. Uh, I would even extend that to just fighting games and or competitive yeah. games in general. Because I have a very impatient playing style because I'm a very impatient person. Whatever character you vibe with, or whatever playstyle you vibe with, is just how you are. That's how you act. 
I think I'm like re oddly good as Sonic because he moves so fast and my brain works really fast. So yeah, I, can correct I, I, yeah. Myself I can't. Really I well. can't hit like. So, I tap buttons quickly. So if a character doesn't respond to my button taps quick enough, I cannot play that character. Like I need someone who can do fast combos. Low startup frames. Yeah, okay. I don't know what that means, but okay. But I'm gonna tell you right now. If we ever play Birth by Sleep, you shouldn't play Terra. Cause he, he well, you guys, you guys off. already called the other two. Okay, I'll let you play Ventus, not play Terra. Okay, cool. anything. Yeah, Cause I'm not giving up Aqua. You're stuck with Terra. If he didn't hit, he did not give up Ventus. It's <laughs> like Ventus is, his style is much cooler. Carlos, what the fuck is <laughs> in your shirt? Oh, I'm just excited. This <laughs> 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 is game. Yeah. It <coughs> oh. It's <laughs> no, don't. Yeah. Right, no. <laughs> <Brett, no. laughs> Um, what were we talking about? But yeah, so, they're, they're, this, so like, conviction in your, your personal ideals. And beliefs. And beliefs, and like, treating people with fucking respect. Um, uh, you know, there's, I'm not an expert on this shit. I'm, I'm fucking 23, what the fuck do I know? But. We're not philosophy majors. But, you know, they're. Everyone should learn how to fight at least a little bit. Sometimes media mediation some, can only get you so far. Some form of self-defense. It's easy. Just throw your right fist really, really hard. Yeah, or carry a gun. I don't know. <laughs> ah, I will use the fist. If anything, it's good exercise. What yeah. Are you doing? He's, he's one of the cage heads from Bloodborne. Eh, I didn't I didn't think of that, but yeah, let's go, let's go with that. Uh -huh. Instead of crazy so guys, let's go with that. No, it's just one of those neck braces. <laughs> oh god. You can't move your neck at all, so you just gotta it's It's the equivalent of putting a cone on a cat. It's that scene from Sam, It's Always Sunny when the girl has a neck brace. Join the conversation yeah. I gotta I gotta work. You fucking then work, bitch. Alright. Do so you want a Bugatti? Do you want a hot body? <laughs> no. You gotta work, bitch. <laughs> no pain, no gain. I just wanna pass my classes. Then you gotta work, bitch. And work. You didn't have to fucking lead that conversation. I know. I just wanted to. I got distracted. Bitch. I'm gonna put my headphones on. Do it. Pussy. <laughs> Ow, you my head. So what did you hear? You still a little boy? You still a little bitch? You have a baby boy? Huh? huh? You, gonna, you gonna cry? You gonna cry? You a little twink? <laughs> Pre and die? You gonna cry? Maybe you shouldn't come? Uh. What? That's a good conversation. Uh, what else do we talk about? We could talk about we're playing for the. We've only been talking for thirty minutes. Yeah, it's been a load. I don't know. I mean, yeah, we Why? are. Do I already said that we're going to be doing more. T I guess I can tell you that what we are doing tier lists of now. Yeah. Like Brett and I already did a DBZ villain non movie uh, tier list. That'll be out. We're gonna do a cyber one for villains. Movie um, villains. Yes, for movie villains. We we did main story and GT villains. Um, Carlos and I will also be doing Organization 13 members. Aaron will be doing Monsters probably with me as well, and I'll be doing Clones with Charles. You're the center stage guy. Well, Cheers. yeah, I don't have to be. You guys can pick other people. Oh, that's true. But yeah. I just figured you and I can both do Organization yeah. 13 members. And then Brett and I are also doing um, Gundam Protect. The main Gundam protagonist used by suits. the protagonist suits. Me and Brett can also do MGS characters. Mm -hmm. thing. Sunny's S. Get to work! Sorry. I mean, Sunny, Sunny is obviously an S brain. She builds robots. It's in the name. It's S. in the name. S. Stop using that argument. He was a dick. So he's an F. No, Z tier. For Metal Gear Z. Huey? Put him in the garbage. <laughs> put a garbage can in the tier list. <laughs> Just have Huey a garbage can out is of higher than him. <laughs> The Hot Coleman? Higher than Huey. Johnny Sasaki shits his pants a lot. S higher than Huey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everyone's higher than Huey. Like Fuck that man. Even He's like a piece of shit. Volgan's higher than Huey. Because he has a redemption, sort of. Not a redemption, He's more like... He has, a, he has a comeback. He has a comeback, there we go. So that's what we're going to do for our tier list. Um, Want to talk about what... Oh, Want to talk about video games? <laughs> Sure. Okay. What what games do you want to talk about? Kingdom Hearts Critical Mode. Kingdom Hearts Two Critical Mode. It's hard. Yeah, I know. I played through that. I know. I got all the crowns. Yeah, and and the mushrooms. 
And? On critical mode. I don't know how to do a lot of the mushrooms. I'm scared. It's hard. It can be grinding for hours, especially when we are in the mystery tower. You gotta shoot that bitch in the air and make sure he doesn't fall down. But you can't, because you're a stupid little sore. And he's always gonna fail, because he's a bitch. Is there a minigame where you have to turn that poop into wine? What? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> Turn the poop into wine. Turn that poop into wine. <laughs> Never moved. Try Never heard that. It's That's an Eric Andre skit. Oh. <laughs> no. That sounds good. Turn well, that poop into wine. I feel bad in our Discord that I keep getting mad at the game and I keep putting like paragraphs of why I'm pissed at the game. Well, what's like the hardest part you've been so far? Fucking Zigbar. Yeah. Fuck that. I know. I was telling Brett about it where it's like. Oh yeah, this this fight, if you haven't been using your reflect spell, it wants you to use your reflect spell. And I was like, no, fuck yes, this. People it. can do it without their reflect spell. We were not that people. I didn't do it. I yeah, I spell. beat I, I have a shortcut for reflect, reflect spell. I have to, this whole time and I haven't used it. Because it, it blocks and it shoots. It blocks uh, and it shoots. Yeah, it blocks it, and it, shoots. It defends, Block and shoot, man. They attack uh, and it protects. Also, that's not even like the hardest one. Well, actually, I think uh, even it's a work. Even uh, it's fucking great. Zemnis, like stage his final final battle, is easier than Zigbar. Dude, I beat Luxord and Syax and Zemnis. I beat Zemnis's first thing on my first shot. I beat Syax and Luxord on my second shot for both of them. Yeah, Zimnus in his first thing is actually pretty forgiving. I didn't even understand Luxord's little game thing. Oh, that got me the most because I'm bad with moving games. Trust me. Because I thought it was like the same thing as Roxas' is The End, where one of them would be a circle. No, it's it's fucking rotating. Yes. And I have to hit that. You just wait for it to slow down, though, and then you go like... Oh, well, if it man. slows down too much, and it's like, yeah, you suck. You suck, dude. Suck. Take that. You suck, you little bitch. Suck. Yeah, fuck you, dude. <laughs> Shit going good. My brain just went like, when I get final form, it's going to be level one, and everything else is going to be like level six. That's what they give you the world that was never there. So you can grind. And the world never was. But you know what I mean. Also, I try to do the Cave of Remembrance. Fuck that. I don't know how to get through the third location. You need to location. level up all your forms to max level. I know, but if uh, I need that yeah. one, two yeah, spaces, well, I'll take that. Yeah. When I get final form, the other four only have to go up by one level, and then I have to do final form, form like all seven levels. levels. How do you level up final form? Uh, it'll tell you in the XP. I forgot how you do it, though. Oh, because I was telling Brett how weird it is to do your, to level up your forms. Yeah. Wait, how do you level up Valor? Valor? Because uh, so you just fight enemy upon enemy. I th it's with every enemy you defeat. Yeah. Okay. I think so. I think so. With wisdom, it's every bullet that hits the enemy. Yeah. yeah. With limit, it's every spell attack you. I know use. how to grind them though. If you want, uh, like a technique. I mean, they're pretty much all grinded. Yeah. Master yeah. form is every drive orb you get. But there's a, there's a part when you go to Agrabah one. and you see that one mushroom one. challenge in the treasure room. Mm -hmm. All you gotta do is just spam with your attacks that you need. Most I use that more mostly for limit form. And then just exit the room, leave the world, have all the forms back, and then go back and repeat. With uh, Master Form, I just went to the second part of the Cave of Remembrance where they had the two balls just floating there, and I hit both of them, and then I'd leave the room out in Master Form, die, and then re stop that. <laughs> respawn in Master Form, and run back into the room because I'd keep the XP, and then I would just do the same shit all over again. Yeah. It's a grind, critical for, critical no, mode. Don't even give me started. It's really, uh, it's really weird because, as a natural ability, it'll say, "Oh, you can auto valor now." So you just get used to auto valoring, but then it's like with uh, to get auto wisdom and limit and master and do, final, yeah. you have to do <coughs> those forms first. It's a, it's a bitch. I I especially hated when you had to do that the like the underworld cups. Mm -hmm. God, fuck those things. I don't. And there's a second version of them called the Paradoxes? Yeah. Ugh. I feel like just a normal playthrough, is that shit mandatory? No. Oh, yeah, it's a grind no. of It's just for achievement. Oh, okay. But yeah. One of them is, but that's like, not even like a, a cup itself, it's only just, you need to fight people. If we do play Kingdom Hearts 2, I'm most likely going to do that shit. But, but a lot of the grinding I'm going to do off camera. Na 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 I'm on the last cup and I don't know how I keep losing. Which one is it? I don't know. Seven? 
the Titan Cup, I think. Is it? Or is it? I think that. Might it's be the it. one where every round you have a heartless, but you also have a nobody to fight. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's not the one where you fight Leon and Yuffie. All right. It's the one after that, and it's like on like the sixth or fifth one. It's like if anything, I don't lose. I don't have zero health, but it's like you lost, and I was like, what? Oh, you have a point thing that if you lose all your points, then you lost. So you don't take hits. And also, um, a trick if you want to like get high scores is you would have Stitch, and you'd be at low health, critical health, where it's all red and bleeping. Mm -hmm. And then you just call Stitch, and he does a ukulele to give you health orbs. But instead of health orbs, it's give you points. And that's how you get like all the points you needed. Oh. I, I went to get the points, and you just got not die. It's easy. Just don't die. Yeah, just don't die. It's easier said than done. Sometimes, unless yeah. you're just spamming, like I am. I hate it. I hate the synthesis system in Kingdom Hearts One. Don't you like it now? Because well, now I do. Because <laughs> to get to get Ultima Weapon, you have to have done synthesis for twenty something other items, mm -hmm. and then to get all the items for Ultima Weapon, you have to backtrack, find special Heartless, and kill Heartless the exact way they're supposed to be killed. And then they might drop you the item, and I'm level 57, and I'm stuck because I just don't want to bother going everywhere for Ultima Weapon. I think Sora feels. Oh, well, now he's just not moving at all, so I <laughs> didn't feel great. It's just a stiff For the synthesis things, do you need to make, like, individual items, or just... Yes. Like, you want to do... You might get, like, uh, stone and shard. There's, like, three tiers to every material. So, you need, like, the best tier, and then... Once it's, you get it's that. It's shard... Stone, gem, and crystal. Yes. For, For every item. Yeah. And there's even more new materials. But in Kingdom Hearts uh, 2, you just have to find the recipe. Yeah. And then you just have to find the items and then you can synthesize it. I think you also have to be a certain level. Ooh, tap, tap. I know where Ultima recipe is. It's in Twilight Town. <laughs> <coughs> it, when you play as Sora, not when you play as Roxas. I was actually going to just grind as Roxas in the game levels. And, and then I, I found Save the King and Save the Queen yeah. randomly. Yeah. There's a lot like I should to do. I, I am thankful that to get Save the King and Save the Queen, <coughs> it's just, it's just, uh, I think it's for a king, it's dense, um, it's dense objects, and then it's twilight objects for Save the Queen. Yeah. And they're just nobodies that you find in fucking world that never was mm -hmm. I was like oh boy I gotta go, I gotta start getting twilight crystals it's almost like they and dense crystals Donald and Goofy be powered up and that'd be basic oh, bitches I know yeah. but you can either take those cause the save the king and save the queen are their ultimate and weapons and there's a plus version of those <laughs> no wait no man I'm thinking of three cause that does that on three there's only there's only normal form yeah there yeah. is mm -hmm. Heartless one weapon. plus weapon, but it's not their ultimate weapon. No, it's the because uh, I found it on accident. Because I went to Cave in Remembrance and I fought the shaman thing, and shaman it dropped to, like King. shaman staff plus, <laughs> and I was I like, the oh, shamans. there's a basic shaman plus or a basic shaman staff. Yeah, and then I kept getting staff for Donald, and it was like this is weaker than shaman staff, and I was like, oh. I think the game I got the most upset I recently was Revengeance. Oh, yeah, you were Nano talking Machine, that. son. Doctor. Fuck that Armstrong fight. I'm <laughs> standing here. The only... the So there's a mechanic where you need to be super precise with how you direct your cuts. Yes. The only other time that's mandatory in the game is the fight against Sundowner. Mm -hmm. And I complained about it in the fight against Sundowner, too. Except it's even worse in the fight against Armstrong. Because if you fuck up and the giant rock hits you, it's an instant kill no matter what HP you're at. Did you get all like, the health, uh, health items in the Zaidatsu? Items that like, boost that up? Like 200%? No, I think I got to like 150 or 175. I would uh, either just do that, just backtrack, or you know, just try to... Did you beat it yet or not yet? No, I don't, I don't think I want to, mm -hmm. just because fuck that fight. I would just go back and just get more stuff. If, if anything can, I can my, my problem is the boss design in general. Like, he has an, a, an attack that limits the arena. The already small arena. Yeah. And then he has an unblockable no attack. What's gonna happen. He's gonna and it's like, yeah, I'm gonna limit your arena. And then do this unblockable attack that also chases you if you jump. So there's very... There's a slim window to get out of the way. 
Oh, also, I'm gonna barely take any damage. And then once you get me to the half to the quarterway point where I start throwing the giant rock at you and you fucking die, yeah, we're starting over, bitch. As soon as I got <laughs> to that point, I was like, I'm done. It's just no. Because I already didn't like the sundowner fight because of the how precise you had to be with this cutting. Because like I said, it's never introduced that in the game before that fight. Is it on normal or are you on I'm on normal. Okay. That's strange. The only time you had to be like super precise it's for the optional thing, it's for like the arms. But that's an optional thing, that's not mandatory. I see, I, I think I need to go back and see how it is, because I don't remember it being as difficult, but then again, that was like. That was like, for me, that guy was years ago back in middle school, I think. And I remember um, I was a better gamer back then. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I played all the MGS, and then I transitioned to that one, which is a big transition. Uh, that was like one of my first action games. And I remember I kind of breezed through it, but then again, I was doing poorly. I was like, it was D is an S or B's. Also, the uh, <coughs> the parry slash guard is very dumb the way that it's programmed. Yeah, you have, it's, it it's, yeah, holds, yeah, you need to tap the square and the stick at the same time. Something like that. Yeah, something but like that. also, there's a dash forward attack using those same inputs. Because no matter how I move. Really? Yes. So sometimes I'll put in those inputs to guard and attack, and Ryan's like, what's that? Dash forward and attack. You got it. You got it. Ah! And then he dashes forward and gets hit. It's like, cool, thanks game, that's not what I wanted. I'm pretty sure there's a button that's not being used. I think it's L1. I don't think L1 is used. L1 is to aim when you have a rocket. Then what's L2? No, maybe L1's to fire, L2's to aim. Cause there's like gun, there's like well, rockets you get in that shape. game. Yeah, but and there's no one I, uses. I could have sworn there was like some. Uh, I had to that's play the game again used. to find out because well, I don't remember. Cause it's not that hard to implement a button that's dedicated to blocking and parrying. Yeah, but then again, I don't know. Like, that was like, only one of the three platinum games I played. So maybe they have like a different thing. The thing is, Bayonetta has a dodge button. That's Bayonetta. That's so Nintendo. does Transformers Devastation. Like, how many more buttons does like? A PlayStation controller have the Nintendo controller. It's the exact same. Really? Yes. Shit. I lost that bet then. Uh, I I think I just need to go back and see. Really, I need to really. Because I want to. I I do want to finish the game, but I also don't want to because of the Armstrong fight. Like that fight is just so much bullshit that I don't want to play it. It's a cool sword though that you get. Yeah, it's cool, <laughs> but it doesn't feel like an upgrade. No. I mean, because it I doesn't it do does, anything. I think just about higher damage. Yeah. If it does, I wouldn't notice because Armstrong doesn't take any fucking damage at all. I, I really need to go back because I don't remember like. Like I, I don't remember the controls. I understand like boss fights are supposed to be a test of your skills and mastery of the game. Yeah, it should be like. But if it has a mechanic that's barely used like, and it? only used mandatory for one other fight. That's not testing your skills. That's throwing you on a fucking wall. It, it it should be where if you start the level, it will show you something new, and you should start to like learn yes. that on the road. Then the boss fight is a test for you to tell you how you learned that and how you use it. No, I'm so. wrong. I'm wrong. There, it it shows up in another fight. It's the monsoon fight. Oh, the one you gotta be precise. No, no, no. Yeah. It's not even there because like when he throws no, like the size. the balls, you don't need to be precise. You just need to slice them up. For the monsoon. Or Mistral. Monsoon. No, Monsoon's the guy with... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, he throws bombs? Like, these... these He, he picks up all the trash and, like, metallic objects in an Oh, area, yeah! Like, and you have to slice it. Okay. it and you just... You don't even need to be precise. You can just go square triangle, square triangle, square yeah. triangle. Yeah, I think it's just because it's a bigger thing, but for this boss, it's like... Gave me it's a, the thing that yeah. Armstrong does is a giant yeah. ball of metal. Yeah, but you need to be precise for some reason. Well, because it's 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 preparing you for that point when you get all of them and you see Armstrong, you gotta be precise to hit his head or his hand or whatever. So it's using the last boss fight to introduce a mechanic that it introduced in another boss fight that hadn't had in in any other part of the game. Back to the revenge. That's that's bad game design. If you're gonna have such a key part of a boss fight be like that, introduce it in gameplay or in previous before then. Because Sundowner is what the second to last boss fight. It's Sun. It's Mistral Monsoon, Sundowner, Sam, and then Armstrong. No. Oh, stop! <laughs> no, 
No, I no. genuinely thought he was like Sam. Oh, Jetstream like, Sam. Yeah, Jetstream Sam. Okay. Uh, yeah, and um, I think, I think just Sam's just a little like, okay, let's show me what you got. He's like, he's actually the like the good boss fight, because he does like anything. My only issues with that boss fight were issues with the controls. Like I said, the blocking. Yeah. And and instead of blocking, dashing forward. That was my only issue with that fight. It's more of a parry than a block. I know, I but still, yeah. if you if you time it wrong, you do block. But still, like the input is still there, and it's still the same input as the dash. So, sometimes I, I'm like, okay, yeah, dash would be useful in this situation, but how do I do it? Have you tried <coughs> different weapons at all? Or yeah, I've used all of them, but the only one that I really like is Mistral's. Yeah, the pole. Because oh. Monsoons is really weird. You have to get used to it. And, like, Sundowners is Sundowners really is slow. way too slow. Yeah. How about the, mach the Machete? <laughs> That's Sundowners. Really? Yeah. No, like, there's the, the, actually, like, the, the ones that other soldiers <clears throat> use. The one that's just a sh small sword. You can use that? Yeah, you can buy it, and you can use it. And you can also have the the, the, the whole... I know you can get the Mariachi outfit. And has that, and... Oh, okay. No, I never... The only outfit that I bought was the uh, Desperado alt. Oh yeah, because it, cool. it doesn't alter any any like That's thing on you. It just looks really cool. Yeah, I love that design. If you combine that with like one of the wigs that give you like infinite um, Zaidatsu juice, it looks cool. Also, uh, with Sam Sword, and the, if you do more of the challenges and you get like I think it's a like gold rank almost like. Half. My like I I can't find the challenges this thing and like I understand it's ex it's exploration. Though, so. Yeah, it's a thing. It's also like a menu thing I think. Because if you do more of those challenges, you get new swords. Like, there's a long sword, an armor breaker sword. Oh, okay. And they're, they're cool, that's, but that's... They don't, they're not as different as, like, Raiden's regular sword. It's, like, small effects, I oh, think. No, so, yeah. Although the one sword I thought was really cool was the wooden sword, like, that. Yeah. You know what you're doing, so and there's a stun sword, too, which is the dumb electrical shock thing. Which is fun, because you just... Wah, 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 I'm stunning you. I'm cutting yeah. you. I'm stunning you. Ooh. You're not dead. And the, Take your what? spine. Dead on! Doctor! I need my taste in the middle. I like I want to taste it. I want to taste Mmm, mm. electrolytes. Tastes like Powerade. Tastes like Powerade. Gatorade. Yeah! Gatorade. And then before that, I was complaining about one specific <laughs> boss fight with Devil May Cry 1. It's the fucking final Gatorade. boss fight against Nightmare. I was describing it to Sam yesterday. Oh, yeah. It's a small ass. Or this is like get get your fingers and make a circle. That's he, the arena. He does, what he does what Zigbar does when he does that spin attack and oh. he's invincible yeah. and then he rains fucking hellfire on you. That's blowing. He make the, but it's that stage the entire time. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> no, just a tiny circle. The boss gets your index finger, like put it in the middle of that of that circle. That's the size of the boss. So you have to maneuver around that, while also hitting these things on the side of the arena to make the boss vulnerable. But at the same time, while the boss is vulnerable, he can still hit you. So it's a war of attrition. <laughs> so it's, at some point, I just thought, fuck this, I got a bunch of the screen nuke items, and just spammed those, and that's how I won, because fuck that fight. Um, that actually reminds me of a thing I was thinking about when, uh, when I was playing all the Unch Uncharted games. Now I'm on four. Um, is like how each game just improves after one another, okay. and I'm pre I'm pretty sure like after Devil May Cry one, they improved it's it on WI. game two, then three, then four. Dude, other than that boss fight, everything else was very well designed. It's just I get it's like escalation of like danger. I think that was also like the, almost their first time making that that kind of action game. It's one of the Bad very had first. Had to borrow a lot of shit from Resident Evil. Yeah. Because yeah. they didn't have time to transform it's, it. Completely. Exactly. It's it's still the Resident Evil engine. Yeah. yeah. Like what you were saying is a lot of. Um, either you said it or my friend said it where it was like, yeah, a lot of these puzzles fit better in a Resident Evil game, not a Devil May Cry game as we'll know them. Yeah. yeah. So that was like the first Tekken hack and slash. And then the second game, I haven't, I don't remember, but... I don't know if you played that. Uh, no, but I know that you can beat the entire game just by using the guns. Okay. How about the third game? <laughs> the third game is amazing. I love the third game. And fourth? Uh, I played it. I like. I played a little game. bit of it, and I like the exploration of it. The, the the Devil Bringer is a really cool mechanic. Oh, yeah, it was cool. Uh, but I haven't played much of it. I remember playing it. That was like one of my first Devil May Cry games. Then I, I actually got me to get, play the other I got games. three, and it was the PS2 3, which is like the harder one. So it was a lot of fun. It just it's it's 
It's a fun game. It's very well designed and it's very rewarding. And you played five, right? No. No. Okay. I want to play five so bad. But I'm waiting. And so I was gonna say, um, like in the first Uncharted game, if you play in the hardest level. The only thing that makes it hard is like the gun damage is stronger for the enemies, but yours is like that's, lower. That's your traditional difficulty scaling. And thing. then, like the only aim for headshots, like even when you're behind cover, you can see they're aiming for your yeah. head. So you peek out your head, you're dead. Well, that's I like it when they do that as opposed to just yeah. Uh, on higher difficulties, their guns do more damage than you have life, mm -hmm. and they're they're fucking bullet sponges. That's the difficulty increase. Have fun. Yeah. It doesn't improve the AI at all. It's it just... doesn't help. Also, the movies the movements clunky, and like some sometimes when you go behind cover, you might just fall out and just like just kill yourself by accident. Yeah, and sure to improve about that with the guns and the enemies, so it's actually more beatable and more tolerable. On Char three, yeah, it was actually easier. Uh, Cause I managed to beat the, almost the whole game, and I just died at one part because there's some bullshit enemies that teleport behind you. I'll tell you why, but this is the thing. And then the, I played the fourth one, and it's just um, nothing's really because they have like they improve on everything, the sneaking, the gunplay. You can even just sneak back enemies, not having to kill them, which is nice because he just kills everyone. Everyone, Nathan Drake is a murderer. He made he thousands of families. Blood. A husbandless widows. Yes, thousands of women. He's widows. the real widow maker. <laughs> and I, I just kind of like how like Nine Dog knows how to fix things over the years and how games can do that. Sam, I like Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> <laughs> I played Crash Bandicoot. I didn't finish it because I was playing the first one, almost beat it, and I got kind of tired of the fortress. Not the fortress. Um, one of the fucking boss fights. Yeah, all my wards get bigger as <laughs> I get farther from the top. That was fast. You have 21 characters, Sam. Nice. That's not even half. Well, that's Lightning. all of them in one series. I have multiple one series. Oh my god. I was trying to think of like what. Actually, like console games, I've been playing recently, and I don't think I've been playing many. I don't know why. Wasn't would you want? Yeah. No. The only the only games I've really been playing are mobile games. That's not what I was laughing. It's just like, yeah, Brett, tell the police. Have you been emulating? I was just playing Uncharted Four. It's it's classified as piracy. The police have bigger issues than catching some fucking punk ass kid on a podcast who's <laughs> emulating some fucking ow who's emulating a I mean, game ow didn't hurt game. no ow for me oh um, did it ow. did a shard hit you no I just imagine you broke his bone I can eat bone. your bones bitch <laughs> just fucking eat it you hear the crunching yeah I can see it on the the waveform uh, I wish I had those pop rocks <laughs> I think the last game that I played was when we were recording Yakuza. Yeah. That's fair. Oh. Oh. No, I played Smash a little bit. Oh, That's did right. You, did you see there's like an update for like what three of the characters? Or was it Olimar? No, those are the ones that got majorly impacted. Olimar and Pichu got nerfed. The oh, fuck. really? Yeah. Okay. Olimar was already not. Olimar was already. already oh, not that good. No, in Ultimate, he's fucking great. Oh. Not anymore, because they made his hitbox. His hurt box bigger, and they made it bigger for Pichu. Did you mean to say hurt box? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. That's what's called. But I heard like that Sora might be in Smash. I don't think everyone so. says a bunch of different things for people who might be in Smash. I don't yeah, think the so only thing that you can say is I think um. Is a chance to be in Smash. Nomura and Sakurai are like friends. That's it. There's a bunch of rumors flying around right now of who might be in Smash, who might not, and there's so a bunch of fake things going around. So. Only trust things that come from Nintendo. Okay. Do you think um, it'd, be, it'd be funny if it was like, Hey, Sakurai. Uh, I mean, yeah, hey, Sakurai. Do you think Sora's pretty cool, right? Yeah. Why yeah. Why put him in your fucking game? Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Wait, come back. Uh. There is a rumor going around also that they're going to put Dante in because Devil May Cry 1 is getting ported to the Switch. That's their only I like when precedent. you told me that. You're just like, just Devil May Cry 1. I mean... Yeah. Not I the HD collection. I can see it because they did like Bayonetta, and I know just the whole. Thing I don't want another Bayonetta situation for Smash Four. Well, 
Well, we, you might get one. Yeah. You're going to have to accept be, that. Be prepared. Because I, I always look up for everything. Uh, There's a new Stellaris DLC coming out. Would you rather Fortnite Man be okay, thanks. <laughs> DLC character? <laughs> Honestly, like the the rumor that Master Chief would be in the game is cool. I would be okay with that. Master about? Chief, like a Chris Renfield, who was something. in Ultimate this is Marvel's getting... Capcom Three, he was just like. Eh, There's a new boom, Stellaris DLC. Yeah. Like yeah, is that the, the one you were talking yeah, about? Okay. No, that was Arma. No, his yeah, his, his final an part is just getting a the little alien laser. one, and yeah. every, everyone on Reddit just, just alien. commits his life. Yeah, <laughs> the fucking the aliens guy meme. Because the, the, the new Armored no, 3 yeah, DLC is, is aliens. aliens. I'm not saying it was aliens, but it was aliens. I, I, there's there's talks about like a Red Dead Redemption 2 DLC thing. There's like, people were like, oh, it's just going to be zombies again. But then because there's an alien Easter egg where like a fucking <gasps> UFO shows up, oh, people were like, it's going to be aliens. Dude, I experienced I think that would be really Easter cool. egg and it scared the fuck yeah, out of me. Yeah, it's really me. scary. It's so scary. Because you're in a cabin. At like 2 a.m. Mm-hmm. with these skeletons around that are talking about like a cult thing and like wait, wait, lights okay. from the sky. Skeletons are talking? No. They're there's, papers. Yeah, like dead bodies there and there's some papers yeah, you gotta yeah. read. Oh, okay. And it tells you what happened. And, and also, if you're in that building at 2 a.m., there will be like a green light that f- comes from the sky. I tried and you, it. Yeah, oh, you're gonna God. look up at it and it's a fucking UFO, but as soon as you exit the building, the UFO leaves. I love when Rockstar does that kind of shit. It's cool, yeah. Like when Bigfoot was in San Andreas. Yeah. <laughs> or or the the ghost Easter egg. I saw Bigfoot five. wasn't in San Andreas. I know. <laughs> he was in GTA V. It was yeah, just some guy in a costume. Yeah, there was some dude in costume. Kill me, human. But hey, shut up. He was in Red Dead Redemption One. Yeah, we eat berries. Yeah. You shithead. You kill my family. Um, Stellaris DLC, assholes. <laughs> <laughs> what about it? Um, the DLC is just assholes. No. <gasps> It's um so it's it's just Dis- disembodied asshole. It's relics and artifacts. So um basically you can go on, you can have your scientists go on the floor gigs and find like, shit. Uh like you can there's there's a there's a Raiders of the Lost Ark achievement. So like you can find the Lost Ark and then it's not called the Lost Ark, it's like it's I designed. It's the, I think it's called the Galatron. And um there's an achievement for stealing it from another empire, because apparently, I guess you can steal uh, relics. And um, what else? Uh, I was on Reddit and they were talking about like, hey, they should add a new end game crisis. Because one of the one of the features on Solaris is they're called end game crises. So the first one is it's called the contingency, and if you have um, AI synthetic like robots. They'll go rogue and oh, okay. go, go like Skynet, Terminator. So it's kind of like um, paths to victory and like civilization. Well, not exactly. Um, Concept wise, um, kinda. But look, well, because like they're, they're basically like your final challenge before the end of the game. Um, well, because you can. Well, because like it sounds like the exact same concept as the paths to victory and civilization. Like, you can win through conquest, you can win through religion, you can win through, like, mm-hmm. science. What he's saying is, before the game can end, this threat no. has to be dealt with. What you're talking about is a win condition. Okay, that's... I played enough Civ Five to know what you were talking about. Didn't I, I think I'm just misunderstanding what you were saying. Yeah. So I thought it, it, it's it was... It's like, hey, uh, the game won't end until we're dealt with. Well, I think, I think... Because I think the game ends at a certain year, but, like, you can keep playing... It's like Civ, or you can yeah. keep playing after the end year. And then, like, the it gives you a score based on how much of the galaxy you own and shit like that. And, um, so, the, so, yeah, the first one is the contingency, and it's, like, basically all the AI go rogue, and, um, you have to basically fight them off. And then there's one called the Prethoran Swarm, which is basically, um, aliens from another galaxy that are, like, just a mindless horde of just teeth and... And, uh... <laughs> They're, 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 they're the fucking Tyranids from Warhammer. Basically. Uh, oh, crap. Dwight um, and, uh... Dwight then there's the, um, they're, they're called the Unbidden. So if you get... Um, and there's, there's, a, there's a couple of other ones that I can't quite remember, but these are, like, the main three. Um, if you get, uh... You broke your cock, I'm so sorry. <laughs> My cock! It's <laughs> cock ring! <laughs> 
Um, yes. It's basically okay. like if you get if you get jump drive, it, they're, 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 okay. you'll oh. call the unbidden, okay. which are like an extra dimensional yeah. for entity. Being. Yeah, um, it's like well, they're like Why it's multiple beings it's made of like energy and shit, and they'll and so all these all these crises will oh. try to destroy the you know destroy all life in the galaxy. Um, but so. Someone on Reddit suggested um, one where it was like the Preference Swarm, but they were um, they already existed in the galaxy because the Preference Swarm comes from outside the galaxy. And these guys, like his suggestion was a new one that it was already in the galaxy, and you activate it by digging them up because the, one of the new systems is archaeology. Um, <coughs> and I thought it was a really good idea. But I thought, I th like, basically, basically, they should just do the Necrons from Warhammer because that's they can't because in Games Workshop. Well, assume yeah, we'll just call it something else. Make it look weird. Don't call them Necrons. Call it Zombie Guns. Yeah. <laughs> zombie Guns. Sounds like a Transformers thing. Yeah. <laughs> the Zombie Cons. The Zombie like Cons. The Transformer or we came up with. Nut Muncha. Nut Muncha. <laughs> Nut Muncha. <laughs> what? I need to yeah. destroy this. We were walking Where back from Jack in the Box. You were at McDonald's. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I was like, that sounds like something. Like, he's, Carlos said something about a squirrel having nuts. And my brain was just like, Nut Muncher. And I was, <laughs> I was just like, dude, that's a Transformer. And then we're just supposed to be Constructicon. Yeah, he's one of the Constructicons. Is he a Nutcracker? No, oh. the the bolts, the nuts that you put on oh. screws, he eats them. Eat those nuts. Nut Muncha, do your job. Huh? Does he shoot him out of the fingers? He shoots him in his ass. He could, yeah. He shoots him in his ass. <laughs> eats nuts and shits them. <laughs> Nut Muncha. I fucking love Stellaris. I'm, uh, and it come, the, this new one comes out um, on the 4th, and I'm excited. And it's going to be fun. I'm going to have to re-download it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really need clear space on your computer? I have. Have you? That's yeah. called it's called screen cleaning. Have you? I've got like twelve gigs on my um, C drive, which is a first, and um, uh, like sixty three on my D drive. <laughs> D drive. <laughs> that's that's only seventy two gigs free. That's a what decent is? amount. Hey man, Red Dead Redemption is like ninety gigs. Yeah, I'm sure for sixty gigs. I I can't say much because like, well, I mean, I just have my hard drive full of recordings, so. Yeah. Uh, you're, 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 you're taking one for the team. Put that shit on Google Drive. But then like, there's a possibility. There's a possibility of it crashing on his thing. Yeah. Hi. Like how Iron Man on your shirt. Is it coming from your? So yeah, can, is it showing up on the fucking... No, it's just that I can hear it, which means probably very here. faint. I can hear it. That's nice. Those, too. those headphones are fucking loud. Yeah, they are. They're skull candies. <laughs> what, what about Iron Man? Oh, because I saw you. I see he's in your shirt, and it just looks like he's a pumpkin head. Is that the, is that the one with... <laughs> the Howling Commandos? Yes. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> that always makes me laugh. I like the Howling movie. Commandos. I was gonna say something actually about the end game. <laughs> this big what? thrilling so, uncut. <laughs> I saw it again recently, and there's this one Spoiler part. Warning? Uh, no. Eh, maybe, but not really. It's been out for a month. The spoiler bands lifted. Yeah. Uh, so this is one part where like basically Ant Man has to go start up his second time machine to do this shit, and it's, so he does this thing. He's like, I gotta hotwire this car. So I'm thinking he's doing this thing. He's doing his, and all of a sudden. You go back to, I think it was Peter or something, and you see Ant-Man all big again in the back doing something. It's like, wait a minute. That shouldn't be right. Isn't Ant-Man doing his own thing with Wasp? How come he's there fighting at the same time? Maybe Wasp was covering for him. <laughs> Maybe. I didn't see it. Mean, it was just a t another time-traveling Ant-Man. It could be Goliath. <laughs> Alternate universe, yeah? Yeah. It's just Ant-Man. It's just another time-traveling Ant-Man. I just thought that was He's got a time Aaron. machine. Why wouldn't he use it? I thought, I, thought, I, thought, I just thought it was like an edit error. Probably. Because. Because what? Because. And you know why, because. Why? Because. Why? You know why. No, I don't. You know. I don't know shit. You know. No, I don't. Yep. Yeah. What time is that? Don't mock me. <laughs> I'm not We're mocking. We're 104. Tell, tell me what I know, Sam. What the fuck do I know, huh? 
You have a shirt over there. so aggressive. You're getting really defensive, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. You know, <laughs> California sunrise. What? Fuck. <laughs> I just read it off. Just end me. <laughs> I'm actually. I'm I could talk about Gundam. Do you want me to talk about Gundam? Do you want to talk about Gundam? Talk about Gundam. Or do we want this to go longer? Do you want to? Oh. Not really. <laughs> is that is that closing though? I think that's yeah, that's that's a sign that we should stop. <laughs> We're I'm done. sorry. Okay. I thought I was done. Yeah, we'll 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 probably talk about Gundam more later. Cause I'm on a, a Gundam kick right now. Oh, you should have like a Brett's Gundam hour. I had thought about doing like a no, a, don't crack the door. Oh. I had thought about doing like a thing Our sound with is Gundam out. things like customizing and shit. Like, yeah. Okay. Oh, shit like that. gonna leave. Alright, but that's that's gonna be another thing. That's another potential thing. He's leaving so I don't kill him. For how bad this smells. I like how you're chewing the ring pop where you're saying that too. Don't oh, throw yeah. it! Duck. No! Duck. Quack. I'm aiming for the trash can! I made it. I think you aimed for four. Ileana, don't just throw me under the bus like that. <laughs> hey, right, don't worry. We're, we're gonna go ahead and call this an episode. Alright. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. Bye. Bye.